Hello, this is Don with MechSoft Support. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rhino 3D Print 2016. And in this short video, we're going to show you how to remesh an existing mesh and then smooth it out uh, with the smoothing tool. Let's have a look. So the next thing we want to do, now that we have a mesh and we, it's closed, but it's not real pretty. It's uneven. Uh, our meshes are, are all over the place. They're inverted. So let's see if we can uh, remesh this and smooth the mesh out a little bit. So let's go over to the Inspect and Modify tab and we'll select Remesh. Select the mesh, right click, and for the Remesh dialog parameters we want to select the Uniform option and we want to set an edge length to 0.125. So any uh, facet on your mesh will be uh, 0.125 long and we'll set the number of iterations to four. This means that uh, iterations means that after it comp computes the first set of remeshing it'll take that model and then remesh it again and we'll do that a total of four times. So let's pick remesh. So here we go. Now we look like we got some uniform um, mesh facets but we still have some bumpy areas and it's not real smooth. So let's go ahead and smooth it out. Pick the smooth command, select the mesh, right click, and for the smooth mesh options we want to set the vertex shift direction. Now this is the direction that each vertex of each facet is allowed to move and we're going to set this to both directions so they can move inward and outward and that's all we need to set there and we'll set the number of iterations to four and pick smooth. Now you see we've got a really nice mesh. All the facets are uniform. The surfaces look smooth. Let's uh, do some further analysis to take a look. On the Inspect and Modify tab you also see that we have uh, some inspection tools. We can do a reflection line analysis. Let's pick that. Select the mesh. And for the dialog options, we're going to set the line settings to a vertical and then the number of lines to be 10 and the thickness to be 10 and we'll just render it. Now here what this does is this uh, puts a rendering on the mesh it allows you to see any uh, inconsistencies in the mesh and it looks pretty good. So let's close that and we can also do a curvature analysis. Select curvature from the Inspect and Modify tab and we've got four curvature types. We'll use the mean option and pick analyze. And what this does is it displays any curvatures in your mesh with uh, a color coded results. And we see obviously we have curvature in the beak and in the eye area and the tail and around the neck. Everything else looks pretty good.